Okay, so this is the first part of my D-Day diorama, and I have glued down many different pieces of foam. The pink foam is by this brand, and the teal slash light green blue foam is from uh, Lowe's, and it's by a Lowe's brand, and you get this stuff at Home Depot, or you can find it somewhere else, probably too. And so I glued this all down with Elmer's um, glue, um, and I, I said that I let that dry for a day, and I put some uh, heavy stuff on top of it to make sure it doesn't expand and everything. I trimmed off the sides with the sandpaper, and then I took skewers, stabbed it down, I made a hole, stabbed it down, took it out, put glue on it, put it back down, and that's what this is, just to keep the foam just together in case something happens. Those are just regular bamboo skewers, and now next step is to use plaster cloth sheets from Wooden Scenics, and I'm going to put those all over here to make this so you will not you will not see the steps, it's just going to be a nice incline going up. So this is the first layer of my D-Day diorama. There's going to be a landing craft, this one, there's going to be a landing craft over here, and that is going to be already, the gate has already been dropped, so all the soldiers are already out of it, and there's going to be uh, another landing craft over here, above the water, and it's going to be one of the Xenics deep core water clear with their navy blue water tents in it. I'll look at a video about that later, and so it's going to have an M20 armored utility car in it. It's going to be a Ford GPA, a uh, landing boat here, and a Sherman tank. So over here, these two will be next to each other, and I'll make a third block uh, for the clicks. And I'm not done with, I have to make the third block around the foam, so next step, putting the cloth sheets on, we're going to go right like this, and thanks for watching.